Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. The chip manufacturing process has been continuously upgraded from 7 nanometers to 5 nanometers and then to today's 3 nanometers. TSMC and Samsung have achieved mass production of 3 nanometers chips. In the future, there are plans to develop 2 nanometers or even 1 nanometer chips, constantly challenging the limits of Moore's law. But it must be realized that the upgrade of the chip manufacturing process will lead to an increase in the cost of chip manufacturing, and Moore's law is coming to an end. Therefore, researchers changed their thinking and started from advanced packaging to upgrade chip performance. In terms of advanced packaging, a new round of chip breakthroughs in China has been completed, and advanced packaging of 4 nanometers chips has been realized in China, an American giant seek cooperation. Moore's law has guided mankind to develop chips for decades, and many rules for technological breakthroughs are based on Moore's law. This is an empirical law proposed by Gordon Moore, one of the founders of Intel Corporation. He said that the number of transistors that can be accommodated on an integrated circuit will double every 18 to 24 months, while the cost will drop by half. That is to say, Moore's law predicts the growth rate of the number of semiconductor integrated circuit chip transistors and the reduction rate of cost, which is an important law of the development of semiconductor technology. As the number of transistors increases, computers and other electronic devices will continue to increase in performance and decrease in price. However, China sees that the improvement of the chip manufacturing process has not led to a reduction in chip prices. TSMC's 3 nanometers foundry quotation is as high as 20,000 US dollars, which is simply unaffordable for ordinary customers. And as the size of chips continues to shrink, the growth rate of the number of transistors predicted by Moore's law has begun to slow down, which has also prompted the semiconductor industry to look for new technological breakthroughs, including advanced packaging. Traditional chip packaging is just the process of placing the chip in the packaging material and connecting it to an external circuit, which protects the chip from physical damage and environmental influences, and also provides electrical connection and thermal management. However, advanced packaging uses the latest packaging technology and materials on this basis to improve chip performance reliability, and integration. Common advanced packaging technologies include 3D packaging, fan-out packaging, wafer-level packaging, etc. In the field of advanced packaging, China has completed a new round of chip breakthroughs. According to news from the industry, the China Supercomputer Research Center announced the completion of 4 nanometers chip packaging. Compared with chip manufacturing, Chinese scientific research institutions and domestic manufacturers have greater competitive advantages in the field of chip packaging. Almost all of the world's top packaging and testing giants are Chinese manufacturers, such as JCET, Tongfu Microelectronics, etc. These domestic manufacturers are deeply involved in the packaging industry and are constantly moving towards advanced packaging technology to explore the unknown road ahead in the packaging field. American giants have taken a fancy to China's advanced packaging technology and have come to seek cooperation. For example, AMD and Intel will deliver the small chips launched by China for packaging and mass production, 
and complete the back-end manufacturing steps under the Chinese chip packaging production line. More and more semiconductor giants are focusing on advanced packaging, which shows that the market prospect is very large. On the one hand, advanced packaging technology can reduce packaging costs, testing costs and material costs, and improve the production efficiency and profit margin of the semiconductor industry. On the other hand, advanced packaging technology can provide better packaging solutions for new chips such as small chips and quantum chips, ensuring performance and quality. This is why most giants have begun to pay attention to the advanced packaging industry, but the question is can advanced packaging break Moore's law? Giants continue to compress chip size, accommodate more transistors within a limited chip size range, and challenge the physical rules of silicon-based chips with only one purpose, which is to break the limit of Moore's law. But whether advanced packaging can achieve this, I am afraid it is too early to draw conclusions. Because advanced packaging technology cannot change the increased rate of the number of transistors, in other words, the development of advanced packaging technology is not to break the limit of Moore's law, but to delay the collapse of Moore's law. It can integrate more functions within a limited chip area, but even so, there are still people flocking to it. After all, pursuing the ultimate chip performance is an important goal of human technological development. As long as advanced packaging has a huge market prospect, it is worthwhile for domestic manufacturers to participate in the layout. In the process of development, domestic enterprises can establish partnerships with leading foreign packaging companies to obtain their advanced packaging technology and services, and improve their own technical level and product quality. It can also strengthen the research and development of advanced packaging technology, improve its core competitiveness and meet the diversified needs of the consumer market. Now that the China Supercomputer Research Center has completed 4 nanometers chip packaging, it means that China has the ability to enter the field of high-end advanced packaging, relying on its technological advantages to establish contact with more international customers and win orders. I believe that not only advanced packaging, but also domestic chips can continue to make breakthroughs in traditional chip manufacturing, and one day, it will help domestic chips to rise in an all-round way. If you agree with this video, please like it, welcome to forward, comment and share.